You are looking live at Webtown Charlotte from our exclusive Arlington camera, and soon you could be paying more to park when you drive into the heart of the Queen City. Under the Charlotte City Manager's proposed 2023 budget, the hourly parking rate would increase and parking would no longer be free in Uptown and South End on the weekends. That could be a big blow. Queen City News reporter Lindsay Klein live in South End right now with the impacts that this would have on people's wallets, Lindsay. Yeah, so the parking rate in Charlotte hasn't changed since 1997, but come July 1st, there is a chance that it might. Oh, definitely is a deterrent. Parking meters line the streets of South End Charlotte, and soon you may have to pay up to park here on the weekends. Paying for parking during the weekend should not be acceptable at all. Under the city manager's proposed 2023 fiscal year budget, the hourly parking rate would increase from $1 an hour to $1.50. If we're going to have to pay for parking, we should just do $1, right? No raising of 50 cents. You know, it's still a lot cheaper than Philadelphia, New York, and Washington, D.C., so I think we're doing all right. Increasing the parking rates and adding the parking fee on Saturdays would generate an additional $700,000 for the city. Free parking on the weekend is optimal. That is the time most people go out. That is the time the tourists are out, and this would be the time for the tourists to spend money at the restaurants rather than spending money on parking. According to the proposal, adding on paid parking would promote turnover to support businesses and encourage more people to utilize public transportation. I think a lot more people will be using the light rail. Opinions vary when it comes to forcing people to pay up. I don't expect to park free. That is not something we should be adding on. That would be a little bit of an adjustment just because um, I'm on the weekend, it is nice to be able to do that for free. But as a growing city, it's the price we may have to pay come July. A few cents here and there for parking should be okay. It's one more thing that kind of adds to the adds to the bill, but um, you know, I, I guess I get it with the city growing the way that it is. And it is important to note this is just part of a proposed budget, so it has not yet passed. But if it is approved, this would go into effect July 1st. Live in South End, Lindsay Klein, Queen City News. Lindsay, thank you for that.